Um, I'm, I'm here today, and good morning everyone, I'm, I'm here today uh, representing the Construction Industry Council, which is a unifying voice for professionals in all sectors of the built environment. It has a membership of 34 institutions and several thousand businesses across the whole of the professional services sector, which includes architects, planners, interior designers, surveyors, engineers, and more. In March 2020, the CIC coordinated coordinated an unprecedented joint statement on the climate change and biodiversity emergency. And we're all aware of the issues at stake. Buildings are currently responsible for around 38% of global energy related carbon emissions. Globally, we build the equivalent of a city the size of Paris every week. The built environment accounts for 43% of UK emissions. But how do we as an industry address this? Well, from Brunel to Grenfell, the successes and failures of the construction industry have shown us that the only way to truly prosper is through collaboration, knowledge and accountability. And this is why in June this year, in the face of the emergency, we launched Carbon Zero, the professional institutes, institutions climate action plan. This is not blah, blah, blah. This is a plan for collective real action. We see it as an integral part of the industry-wide Construction Zero programme and our Climate Change Committee is leading the action plan which has now received overwhelming support from 40 signatories and the seven largest engineering and built environment firms in the UK, collectively representing over 350,000 professionals. Under 10 work streams with 72 deliverables and led by experts in their field, Many are well underway and being actioned to short timelines rather than to speculative or unfocused long-term goals. These work streams are the beating heart of the plan. On education and qualifications, the proposals include implementation of a collective continuing professional development programme to upskill professionals on how to achieve net zero and for tertiary education, training and professional qualification requirements to include climate literacy. The groups are writing upgrades to existing regulations and standards. They're also seeking to agree financial institutions with, inst with financial institutions, the implementation by 2030 of digital records for buildings to include build quality standards and carbon. Other projects include updating guidance on the role of planning, land use and design for emissions from transport. And the work does not ignore the ethical necessities. The stark truth is, that some of the impacts of climate change are already baked in. And even under current emission pledges, children born today will suffer between four and six times more extreme climate linked events in their lifetime. And that's why adaptation and resilience is part of the plan. Now there's no time to lose. And this unprecedented institutional alliance will bring collective skills, knowledge and influence in support of the necessary changes to the decarbonisation of the construction industry. Thank you for listening.